fighter cover and rescue! Come in, anybody! Mayday! Requesting immediate assistance! Anyone, please! Barely receiving you, Gamma 39er. This is Terran Outpost Riviera responding. What is your situation? Oh, thank God! Our wing was ambushed! We didn't have a chance! I'm sure they're tracking me! Calm down, sir. Who attacked you? Was it the Vasudans? Vasudans were killed too! They slaughtered everyone! Sir, you have to calm down. You were attacked by Vasudans. Is that true? No, no! We were in a skirmish with a Vasudan patrol, and they just came out of nowhere and killed everyone! Who came out of nowhere, pilot? I, I don't know. They weren't Vasudans, and they weren't Terran. Oh, God. They're these death black ships, and they flew like... Pilot! And their weapons pilot. were too much. They wasted everyone! Pilot, sit tight. We're sending recovery craft right now. Send fighters! I... I know they're following me! Send everything you have now! Sir, I don't have anyone else on scope. We're home free. It's going to be all right. No, it isn't! You don't understand! You weren't there! I can feel them following me! Oh my god! I'm dead! We're all dead! Picking up unknown jump signatures. I need to scramble the fighters! It's too late! Oh god! What the hell is that? Okay, so I'm going to be playing Free Space. Welcome to Phase 1 of your basic training. Your instructor will walk you through multiple flight controls and HUD gauges. In the first section, you will learn the basic HUD gauges. Your effectiveness at clearing multiple targets, cargo containers, will then be evaluated. Good luck, pilot. So I am going to go ahead and go through the training missions, just because, you know, why not? Uh, they're there, might as well use them. Uh, I already went ahead and set up my controls. And hopefully, we'll play around with the star setting. Hopefully we can... Yeah, I want that on high. Uh, hopefully we can get everything so that the stars don't pop in and out on me. But, as you can clearly see, they're going to pop in and out. Good morning, pilot. Don't touch the controls so until yeah, told see. to do so. The first function you will learn is targeting. Target me. In the lower left hand corner of your HUD is your target view. The top line displays the targeted ship's name and class. I really don't like this guy. The next line shows the distance to your target and its speed. Hurry up. Note the brackets around my ship, indicating I am your current target. I did look for graphic mods for this game, and I couldn't find nothing. 
As I fly out of view, the off-screen indicator will display. It points in the direction you must turn in order to face your target. Note how it moves as I fly around. It is always pointing at your target. No, nah, really? I mean, it did the... Notice how the triangles separate. The farther apart they are, the farther you'll have to turn to face your target. Finally, note the number by the indicator. This is the distance to your target. I'm telling you, my finger is right on that trigger, man. I want to kill him so bad, but if they do... The circular gauge near the bottom of your HUD is the radar. Friendly ships are shown in green. Hostile ships appear as red. So if I didn't know they were going to kill me the second I got back, I would shoot him. I would. Using your main flight controller, turn your ship to... Good. Now stay in that position. I'm going to interrupt him as much as I can, because, I mean, you don't really need to see all this. Now turn toward my ship again. See those pop-in stars. Match my speed. Good, now follow me. Note how your speed automatically changes to match mine. To the left of the reticle is the speed gauge. The capital M next to the current speed indicates that you are matching speed with your target. That's good to know. My role's working now. It wasn't poor when I ran some tests. Now I want you to use your acceleration key to move to within 75 units of me. Do not collide with my ship. Oh shit, I didn't douche. Good. Now decelerate to drop 200 units behind me. Good. Now the afterburner. Engage your afterburner. The gauge to the left of your speed gauge indicates remaining afterburner power. Note that it is consumed rapidly. Yeah, I'm definitely using my joystick for this. I wish I could fix those stars though. That extra speed is useful for quick evasive maneuvers. Maintain your max top speed. Try it now. Now come to a complete stop. Drone 1 is... Good. Now fly within 100 units of it, then come to a stop. Be careful not to fly too fast. Fly as fast as I want. <laughs> but I've done this enough times to know that... Well done. Note that it takes some time to come to a complete stop. A group of cargo containers has just warped in. Good. Now inspect these cargo containers. In order to determine the contents of a ship or cargo container, you must target it, face it, and fly within 100... The sound you heard indicates the cargo container has been inspected. Notice the cargo display in the target box at your lower left. Now fire your primary weapon and see near the center of your HUD the hull integrity of your target is displayed. Notice that it has dropped from 100%. Wow, really? So if I shoot something, its hull drops from 100%. I did not know that. This information is also available in the upper right of your target display. Mm, thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Now destroy CTAC-01. C-TAC-03A. Remember to target them.
job. Probably turn the sensitivity on the joystick a bit more. Let's see how quickly you can destroy these new cargo containers. Target them and destroy them with your ML-16. Congratulations on your successful completion of phase one. You are now ready for phase two of your... Okay, so... A whole bunch of stuff just happened literally the moment I hit the record button to start playing this game. So, what I'm going to do is... I've decided on this one, I'm going to load this on a... Um, mission by mission basis. So, I'm just going to upload each mission individually. And, uh... Well, I'll do, like, training stuff. I'll probably do the training stuff as, like, two missions. Welcome to Phase 2 of your basic training. A cargo container will be delivered to the training area. You will be expected to demonstrate the targeting and firing skills that you acquired in Phase 1 of your training. After reviewing phase one of your training, you will learn advanced targeting and firing techniques. Aw, oh, thank you for not having the confidence. Welcome to phase two of your training. Dang it. First, target the cargo container. Cycle. Good job. Oops, I was a little fast on that one, sorry. Destroy the cargo container with your ML-16. Nice shooting. Good. The disruptor is an energy weapon that destroys the subsystems of a target, doing only minimal damage to the target's hull. Two practice drones will be used for this phase of the training. Target drone A. Good. Now target my ship, pilot. All right. You have a targeting control which allows you to target the nearest hostile target. If pressed again quickly, it will target the next nearest hostile object. I'm gonna have to fix that sensitivity. Good. Also target ship subsystems. By pressing the subsystem targeting control repeatedly, you can cycle through the subsystems of your target. When a subsystem is targeted, 
It is outlined by a large square. If the targeted object is not in view, it will be marked by a diamond. Target the sensors on Drone A. Nice work. You will use the disruptor to destroy the subsystems of an enemy ship when you do not wish to destroy the ship. Destroy the sensors on Drone A using the disruptor. Good. Target the sensors on Drone B. Notice the sensors on Drone B are not in your direct line of sight, even though you have it targeted. The diamond indicates where the subsystem is located. It is also indicated in the HUD target monitor. When ordered, you will fire your secondary weapon at Drone B. The MX-50 is a heat-seeking missile. When you are ordered to fire upon Drone B, the MX-50 will home in on your target. Destroy Drone B using the MX-50. systems on drone A. Do it without destroying the drone. You have proven successful. Good job. That is all for today's training. I'm going to destroy Drone A. Feel free to join me, pilot. Activate your jump drive and head back to base. I tell you, man. You were proficient in meeting the requirements for all of your training objectives. As a result, you are qualified to advance to phase three of basic training. Congratulations. Those stars make a huge difference in the world. Welcome to the final phase of basic training. In this phase, your dogfight ability will be put to the test. You will be required to engage multiple waves of fighter drones. Some will be armed. You are expected to destroy as many of them as possible. Good luck. Uh, you know, it's my fault. I know it's completely my fault. We're going to take the sensitivity down one. See if that helps us out. It will be required. Welcome to phase three of your training. There this we go. phase will cover dog fighting techniques. First, target my ship. You'll notice as I move, a circular indicator moves in front of my ship. That is the lead indicator. It indicates where you need to fire your primary weapon to hit your target. Target the unarmed drone that is just... The target box in the lower left-hand corner of the HUD displays the distance to and hull integrity of your target. Your target's hull strength is also shown in the lower part of your reticle. As I shoot the drone, notice its hull integrity drops slowly. A good dogfighting tactic is matching speeds with your target. You should be on the move at all times during a dogfight. Now destroy the drone. Don't forget you also have missiles. Two 
new unarmed drones have arrived. Destroy both of them. Remember to match their speed. Ugh. The way to target new hostiles is by using auto-targeting. This will automatically target your nearest hostile after your current target has either left the air or the job. This drone is armed. It will start firing upon you in as little as 10 seconds. Destroy it. Now comes the fun part. Five pairs of armed drones will jump in. Destroy as many as you can. I gotta say, whoever did the AI programming for this game did a fantastic job, especially considering that it was made in 1998, I think it was. You know, the controls are like, just gorgeous. I mean, really, they are. I mean, they're really good controls. Good job, pilot. Basic training is complete. Return to base. I mean, everything about this game is just fantastic. Well, aside from the pop-in stars, but... You destroyed all ten drones. Congratulations. This completes your basic training. Welcome to the GTA League of Defense. You know, I mean, you're talking 1998 graphics on a 2014 graphing computer. Actually, if you want to be technical about it, it's a 2012 graphing computer. Yeah, it should be 2012, because that was when uh, Mass Effect 3 and Diablo 3 came out. And that's what I built this computer to run. And it did both of those things, fantastically. Unfortunately, it did one game slightly more fantastically than, other, than the other, but that wasn't the computer's fault so much as it was Diablo 3's fault. I mean, the other game that will not be mentioned's fault.